arrows really have to be iconic and they have to be the thing that tells you this is St. Sebastian. Hi, my name is Holly James Johnston. I am a writer and researcher, although I am also known as my drag king persona, Orlando. We're here at the National Gallery today as we are recreating St. Sebastian as a drag king. So St. Sebastian was a Roman soldier who secretly converted to Christianity but when his faith was discovered, he was tied up against a tree and his body was pierced by arrows. Over the centuries, this image has been recreated in countless paintings, cementing St. Sebastian's status as a man who was persecuted for who he was and what he believed in. As a drag king, I was drawn to St. Sebastian because of the way he has been adopted by the queer community as a queer icon. This is in part due to St. Sebastian's persecution and the abjected position that queer people have historically occupied within society. However, a more obvious reason for St. Sebastian's appreciation within queer circles is of course his beauty. In Chima's St. Sebastian, as with many other representations of him, he is represented as a lithe, scantily clad, curly-haired youth who is almost always pretty. In some contemporary reimaginings of Saint Sebastian, he resembles more a Ken doll than a religious martyr. I think in terms of recreating Saint Sebastian as a drag king, I was drawn to Chima's Saint Sebastian specifically because there is a nod to androgyny or even femininity, which I hadn't seen in other Saint Sebastians. As a drag king, um, I'm drawn to masculinity that has an edge of femininity because as someone who is assigned female at birth, I can relate to that more. So Chima's Saint Sebastian, he's got very lovely curly long hair, he's got rosy lips, and he's also got big blue eyes and very neat eyebrows. The challenge I found um, with this project has been the fact that Sebastian doesn't wear anything. so. The arrows really have to be iconic um, and they have to be the thing that tells you this is St. Sebastian. So I made the arrows from dowling. Um, I used cardboard for the feathers and for the wound at the base, I used rhinestones because I wanted something camp and a bit, something that would emphasize the performativity of the image. Another reason why this St. Sebastian specifically appealed to me is because there is something sculptural about the painting. It's a painting of a St. Sebastian that's mimicking a sculpture. So I think that lends itself quite well to photography. From this image, I really want to capture something that's camp and melodramatic, um, but also something that nods quite sincerely back to the, the St. Sebastian story. As a drag king, I was also very inspired by Aquaria on season 10 of RuPaul's Drag Race, who did a St. Sebastian inspired look on the runway. So I was interested to see how St. Sebastian might translate um, in drag king culture. <laughs> 